Hello, welcome back. In our previous video, we have learned how to paint on a surface and then use that attribute to scatter the points. In case if you missed it, you can go back and watch. There is a link in the description. Let's move on to today's topic. Let's drop a geometry and let gets, let's rename it scatter by noise go inside and drop a grid here let's increase the divisions in the last video we have created the attribute by painting on it but now we are going to use a soft to create some procedural noise let's drop an attribute noise so there are three different uh, softs but all of them are same but with the uh, different settings to create a float attribute set this to float rename it to density maybe you can name it anything but make sure you you give the same name in the scatter sop let's drop a scatter sop and in here enable the density attribute and we already named this as density so you don't need to change this one now so once you enable that you can see something but it's not very clear that it's working so let's visualize the density click here and visualize it so as you can see the contrast is very less in the in the noise color so what we can do is enable this remap and push the contrast a little bit so that you can see it better and increase the size so we created a density attribute you can see it here as well and also visualize it and then use that density attribute to scatter yeah now i think it's more clear in case if you want to adjust even more you can push it like this also if you don't want the even scattering inside you can turn off the relax iterations so that it's more random and more more organic okay i hope you found this useful let's meet you on the next video thank you